Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode on Minecraft. I hope that you are having a fantastic day and that everything is going all right in your life. Ooh, ah, ooh. And today we have a few people on the server. Check this out. Oh, tab. BTC and Gud are on. I have a feeling BTC isn't actually on the server. Like, he's not actually here. Mostly because... <laughs> if only we could sleep it away. Ah. We came back from the nether last episode. Last episode, we went to the nether. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. E3 stuff. What? There's no E3 stuff here. You didn't see anything. Um... So, uh, we did a lot in the nether, and by we I mean I, did a lot in the nether, and headed back, here we are now, let me get rid of a few blocks, because I know that it's going to fill my inventory here, in just a bit, bam, and food things, oh I don't need this, because I have chicken now, bam, check out all this nether quartz! Check it all out. Uh, I had a, f a little bit left uh, at the house, so not all of this was gotten in that one expedition. But quite a lot of it was. And my cat is attacking me. There we go. Um, Sela doesn't realize that uh, her she has claws. <laughs> she will hurt. She will hurt me. So, normally what I do is I put all this stuff down, and then I break it open. But there's just so much. <laughs> so much. I don't... It's gonna it'd take up, like, this whole area. It would take up so much space. Um, oh, my word. This has got to be a joke. This storm is really bad. Um... So, uh, and, and on top of that, I also noticed uh, back at the other place, oh, I don't even have, okay, well, we'll just pull this all up. Basically, uh, just know that we have a great source of quartz, because I also found a little bit of quartz that was already broken out, already, um, no, it wasn't ore anymore, it was just quartz. We need to clean up this place. One day, this will be our project to clean up the house, but I have I have plans. I have plans right now. So we're gonna put all that back, but just know that we have a really good supply of quartz. And back at the other place, the other place, back at the arena, where it's now nicknamed the other place, is all of the broken out quartz. Now I will say, starting from now, and uh, a lot of the videos, basically all the videos next week, are going to be pre-recorded. So keep that in mind, that uh, I am pre-recording a ton of videos for the LA move. I'm not moving yet, I'm just going, I just need to spend a whole week kind of going down, looking at apartments, um, and getting other stuff lined up. So from now on... Things are pre-recorded. So with that in mind, I asked you guys, I even did a periscope uh, to ask you guys about what I should do in these next episodes. Basically conversation-wise, these next few episodes are going to be very conversation-focused. See, here we are. Here's all this nether quartz. This is the extra that I found. And we can do all this in this crafting bench up here. In the crafting bench that is always with us. How poetic. And first I wanted to talk, I used Meerkat today. Sorry, I used Periscope today. Instead of Meerkat. And I've used both services now. If you're not aware what these are... Meerkat is a Meerkat and Periscope are both live streaming platforms, but for mobile. So 
instead of being tied to Twitch, which is normally kind of computer driven, you have access, you uh, load it up on your phone, it's, a, it's an app, and you can stream that way from your phone. Yeah. It is, actually. Um, because, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you would think he would he would know from playing on the server for so long. But yes, sleep does uh, help a lot. Especially whenever it rains. It rains a lot. Oh my word. It rains a lot on this server. And as you guys know, and being able to sleep the rain away is really a nice thing. I have a feeling that BTC is uh, at his guardian farm currently. So one thing, uh, so anyway, the, the uh, Meerkat versus Periscope debate amongst people who are really into technology has been raging for a few days now. Meerkat was first um, in this, in, in the mobile live streaming uh, uh, platform. And the first to release, I should say, because a lot of people, the moment that, that Meerkat started becoming super popular, Twitter was like, um, excuse me, but we've had this idea in the works. In fact, we just, we bought a company, um, and, uh, two weeks ago <laughs> for this very service. Uh, we think that we have a really solid idea on what the future of this live streaming stuff is going to be like. And, uh... And so, anyway, that that was a, a kind of a point that Meerkat was a few has was um, a little bit earlier, but it is obvious that Periscope, as a live streaming uh, application, oh poor good, he's like I can't deal, I cannot deal with this right. Um, Periscope as a live streaming application is way better. Whoa. Um at all of the things basically the one thing um but i mean both of them offer instant streaming from your phone and both of them offer chat room and both of them off uh hook in through twitter although periscope is much more twitter independent which is funny because twitter was the people who bought periscope Periscope as a company is owned by Twitter. And all you do is sign in with your your deets, with your details. Whoops. And then um, you can even choose like it's it's like uh, how Vine was. Vine would allow you to sign in through Twitter, and everyone knew that Vine was owned by Twitter, but it's like its own little social network in that you can change your username on periscope you don't even i mean basically it's just a hey we will autofill this stuff in if this is what you want because we assume that you use twitter check out you know here it's our it's already here um they also uh, periscope also offers an option which is kind of cool get out of here to give likes to the person um, who is streaming, and when I streamed, just the, uh, I was like, I was oh, holy crap! I want so many likes. Like these little like things are addictive. Basically, you can tap on your screen, and a little heart will show up in the corner, and it's all, it's almost like a way of like applause. It's so cool. It's non-obtrusive. You can, if you want to tap it a thousand times, you can. It's fun just to see it down there. Someone is live, like, sending little hearts over there. There's no restriction. You could spam that thing all day long. It is just so fun. I really like this heart idea. It just shows that, hey, there's appreciation happening right now. We're going to use an enderpearl to get back up there. 
There's appreciation. Currently. Oh, I missed. Dang it. Oh, I can pick up that. Andesite. Um, and then there's a chat room. And what's funny is Meerkat, you would have to post a tweet. And then Meerkat would basically suck that tweet up. And put it into the app. But with Periscope, it's an actual chat room that doesn't spam Twitter. Which is funny because Meerkat, <laughs> which was not owned by Twitter, spammed and used Twitter services a lot more. What are you doing there? Than Twitter's own app does. It's been really interesting to test them both out. And... I really like them both, but I gotta say, I am a fan of Periscope a lot more. It feels like a much more flushed and feature-rich app. The, ju like, just even the fact that whenever I go live, there's a f you can title your streams, you can choose if it's gonna tweet, you, it, there's just so much more built in you, you, it, uh, with Meerkat, a lot of people didn't realize, but it's just like, you click a button and you're like, <laughs> there's no like, there's no like, hey, uh, you're, this is about ready to happen, it's just, bam, you're live. <laughs> so, anyway, those are the differences that I see, uh, between, get out of here, what, what you looking over there for? What, what are you, what? Where are you even going? Oh, he's after that villager? Holy mackerel. Whoa. Oh man, that that is uh <laughs> uh quite a distance. I didn't know that. Wow. Anyway, uh, that's enough, I think, Meerkat and Periscope talk. I am super excited because, as I say that, I realize another thing that I want to talk about about them is this. There, we now have the infrastructure on mobile phones to live stream. And I cannot wait until a convention when I can Periscope from the convention. Because right now, I think a lot of people are still doing it in their houses. They're, and this is what I did. I mean, I sat at my desk and talked to people because I wanted it to be really short. And I was just kind of trying to test out the service. But going places, it's, it's, very, it's very analogous to Twitter in that assume there's some big news event. You can quickly meerkat. Or sorry. Or, man, I, I'm, it's going to take me a little while to wrap my head around that it's different um but you could quickly either meerkat or um periscope what is going on outside of your house one of the reasons i think twitch did so good is because it it, it not like i don't know live blogging you're showing off who you are or just sitting in front of a camera is not all that exciting but uh, and also, especially before, when it was tied to your computer, the whole infrastructure for going outside and live streaming was just not there. It's just not, it wasn't good back in the day that Justin TV or Stickham or Ustream or any of those other players really hit the market. And mobile is going to be where it's at, I believe. In the future so I'm really excited uh, I cannot wait until a PAX or a Minecon or TwitchCon or whatever and we can I can go mobile and I can show you what's going on live that is gonna be so so cool check out booths and stuff at the convention hall I mean just it'll be so 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 neat <sighs> I think I'm about done um, for today's episode. And thanks so much for watching. I'm going to top off the top here. And I think we're going to... I might just go straight on into recording the next episode. Because I do have to record so much. 
uh, for this next week. So I'll talk to you later. Bye.